Hi guys and welcome to Tech Paste. In this video we're gonna talk about two builds in one video because the builds are quite similar. In this video we're talking about the C release or the feature update that is released monthly for the main release of Windows 11. In this video we're talking about both version 23H2 and version 24H2 because the updates are quite similar. So on 23H2 we have the build 22631.4112 and on 24H2 we have the build 26100.1591 there is only one difference between these two builds which I'm gonna mention of course in this video but basically all of these features are features that are going from the release preview channel to the main release of Windows 11 so what you can expect from this first of all if you go into the sharing section in Windows and you try to share a file you're gonna notice that you're gonna have this new section that you're gonna be able to use to easily share files photos and so on documents with your Android phone there are also certain updates related to the narrator and also the voice access app but of course you can see more info about those in the article below if you're interested in a more in-depth overview of these changes related to the file explorer Microsoft fixed a few issues for example they fixed an issue that happened when you press the Windows logo key plus E and a screen reader might have said a pane has focus or the focus might not be set at all also they fixed an issue that when you press control plus F sometimes the search does not start they also fixed the keyboard focus that sometimes might get lost when you press shift plus tab also screen readers do not announce when you open or browse items that are in the breadcrumb of the open or save dialog and also they fixed an issue related to the screen readers that did not announce when you open or browse items in the column header there's also something new related to the widgets board Microsoft is rolling out an update to the widgets board to improve security and the APIs for creating widgets and feeds for users in the European economic area regions as part of this update the Microsoft start experiences app will power the Microsoft start widget and feed experiences also as part of this update some existing widgets will be removed and others will be modified temporarily affecting their functionality. This update sets the foundation for new widgets and other features in development set to roll out soon. As I've said, all of these things that I've mentioned are both for Windows 11 23H2 on the main release and 24H2 on the main release. But now the difference, these things that I'm going to mention now are things that are additional to Windows 11 24H2. There are a few fixes mostly. A fix for the browser that ignores its value in the Internet Explorer main registry key. Also, a deadlock occurs in the domain control when it starts up in the DNS server. This update adds a prompt that asks you to confirm when you turn on OpenSSH using the server manager UI and also other smaller fixes that you can check out in the article below if you're interested in those. And of course we're also getting the Windows 11 service and stack which is of course for both 23H2 and 24H2. For 24H2 we have the build 26100.1591 and for 23H2 the service and stack build is 22631.4099. So these are the news pretty much. We get the same build basically for both 23H2 and 24H2 but if you want to see a more in-depth list of all the fixes and also known issues you can check out the article below if you're interested. So this was the video for today I hope you liked it if you did please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase until next time have a nice day.